Hi, my name is Marna Hienes and I'm the production designer for Reika 2. So I production designed Reika 1. I've been production designing quite a couple of dramas. I specialize in drama. Swartwater, Intersections, uh, Savage Beauty, just to name a few. So I think the look and feel hasn't really changed that much. Obviously we have We've stuck with the same color palette. The whole influence of the environment of Durban or KZN, the environmental weathering that happens on any object around you, the, um, the molding, the rusting, the, the dulling down of colors. So we've kind of kept the same feel when it comes to that. We like the gritty, not so shiny environments. The only real difference from season one is that we've moved from the our clean, beautiful sugarcane fields um, that was nice and calm into a more urban, hardcore, gritty cityscape as well as with the harbour and everything that comes with that. I think the best part of my job is to actually read a script and get very excited and with every scene that you read you start forming a visual language in your mind you start using your imagination, thinking, how can I build this world together? Then it goes into finding locations and then building the world, seeing where do we go a little bit more grotty? Where do we go um, more textured? Where are we in a more upmarket space, but still incorporate the same feel that we want running through the whole show? It is a bit challenging jumping from the two different time periods that we're shooting in, so going back to 1990 and then present day. Some of our locations is a bit hairy, just to keep it as authentic as possible. Um, and I think that's the biggest challenge. As a production designer, um, I start before or with the producers very early on. So by the time that we actually get onto set, it is just fine-tuning the overall visual idea that we've had. Our big work is in pre-prod when we start planning and we start putting the world together. On set is usually two hours before everybody else. Make sure that the, the set dressing team, which is an amazing team, has already come in, dressed the set and then it's fine-tuning until everybody else arrives and then changes everything. <laughs>